TA class super tanker Oceania. It is one of the most attractive ships ever built with massive capacity transfer and crude oil. They are the four largest double hulled super tankers in the world. They are also the largest ships in the world currently. The Maersk Triple E class container ships are longer, but the TA class are still the biggest in terms of deadweight tonnage and gross tonnage. The deadweight tonnage of TI Oceania is around 440,000 tons along with the speed capacity of speed between 16 to 18 knots. TI Oceania is a masterpiece ship highly laden with technology to hurdle all the obstacles which might occur during the journeys. The length of TI Oceania is 380 meters. The Burj Emperor was a large oil tanker built in the year 1975 in Japan by Mitsui and was one of the largest oil tankers of all time. It was launched on the 30th of August 1975. The ship weighed 211,360 tons and had a length of 381.82 meters. CMACGM Alexander von Humboldt is an explorer class container ship built for CMACGM. It was the world's largest container ship until the delivery of the Maersk Triple E class. The length of the massive big ship is 396 meters, 1,299 feet. The deadweight tonnage of CMACGM Alexander von Humboldt is almost 187,624 tons. Maersk is currently the second biggest ship which is still in service. It's a container ship which carries different goods from country to country. The length of the massive big ship is 397.71 meters. Maersk McKinney Muller is the lead ship of Maersk's Triple E class of container vessels. It is the longest ship in service worldwide as of 2013. Along with her sister ships, Maersk McKinney Mahler is the world's largest and most efficient operational container ship as of 2013, totaling 399 meters 1, 309 feet in length and with a cargo capacity of 18,270 tow containers. She has a maximum speed of 23 knots. And so Atlantic is one of the most popular name in the history of the big ships. This huge ship, 406.57 meters 1,333.9 feet long has an incredible deadweight capacity of 516,891 tons. And so Atlantic has served the world with its consistent services level of straight 35 years. There's no need to say that it used to be the best ship of its time. And so Atlantic was an oil tanker basically and was disposed off as scrap on 2002 in Pakistan. Botillas was a super tanker, built in 1976 for the French branch of Shell Oil. Was one of the biggest ships in the world, surpassed in size only by Suez Giant built in 1976, and extended in 1981, although the four ships of the Botillas class had a larger gross tonnage. With a deadweight capacity of almost 554,000 tons and a speed 16 to 17 knots in length of 414.22 meters. Pierre Guillaume was the third biggest ship ever built in the history of world. It was a super tanker, built in 1977 for Company Nationality Navigation. It served the world for only six years before it was disposed of as scrap because of the huge unprofitability and declining demands. The deadweight tonnage of Pierre Guillaume was almost 555 tons with near about 16 knots of speed. The length of Pierre Guillaume was almost 414 meters. Suez Giant was also called the Queen of Oceans and Rivers. The longest and largest ship by deadweight tonnage after lengthening. It was built in 1979 by Sumitomo Heavy Industries. Fully loaded, its displacement was 657 tons. Suez Giant was the longest ship ever constructed, at 458 meters. During the Iran-Iraq War it was damaged by an air force attack. Prelude is the biggest ship of the world ever built till present. 
a hill longer than the Empire State Building is. Measuring 488 meters the hull belongs to Shell's Prelude Floating Liquefied Natural Gas FLNG facility, which is the largest floating facility ever built. More than 260,000 tons of steel is used in its construction. In operation, it would weigh more than 600,000 tons. More than five times the weight of the largest aircraft carrier.